The Stir Kinetic Desk uh, is a desk that moves from sitting to standing, and it learns from you, it responds to you, and it, it adapts to you. So it's a smart desk that's, that's interactive and will, what else, GP, what are, what are some of the other cool features and, and can, you, can you show us how it works? Yeah, absolutely. It has built into the surface a, a capacitive touchscreen. And what that enables in its most basic sense is when you want to change positions, you simply double tap on the surface and it moves to the next position, leaving your hands free. Very cool. It comes to you. The desk uh, also senses your presence. So when you arrive at the desk, um, it can actually uh, begin keeping track of data on extra calories burned uh, when you're standing at the desk when you would have otherwise been sitting. Uh, your percentage of time standing and other metrics like that. And all that information is available right here on the touch screen for uh, the past week, the past month, the past year, um, and with various different views that allow you to yeah, see what you've been up to. And GP, is the, is the desk web enabled as well? Can I set this up through Wi-Fi or Bluetooth? Indeed, yeah. So um, it's Wi-Fi and Bluetooth equipped. And cool. uh, we expect to be rolling out syncing to other fitness and wellness apps uh, with the desk. And it also leads us into um, one of the very important features of the desk is something called active mode. Uh, so. Active cool. mode. Show me that. Yeah. So in, in active mode. Is this going to get up and run away? Is that what uh, well, that, that way it, it, it could do that, but it won't right, right now. Ne yeah. Right. The next iteration. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, of course. So, uh, so in active mode, so there's a button here on the front of the desk. Uh, you click into active mode, and that's you telling the desk you'd like it to remind you periodically to change positions, so to change things up based on preferences that you set and based on patterns that it learns from you. And in active mode, it'll give you a, a very gentle prompt uh, called whisper breath. So whisper breath, um, basically what happens is the, the desk moves up an inch and down an inch, and it's actually timed to a typical human resting breath rate. So it's a very gentle way to get your attention. It's not a buzzing or a beeping of your phone. Um, and when it does that, you can choose to say, okay, I wanna move to the next position and double tap on the screen or you can, uh, you can ignore it. And the desk will actually learn from either of those. And, and how long does it take for the desk to learn? I mean, is it almost immediate that so, you know, it's gonna be understanding my habits and, and uh, able to adjust my... Yeah, yeah, great question. Uh, so uh, over the course of a couple days, uh, it'll learn a, a lot of information. There's some trends that might be over a, a longer period of time. So um, really what the desk is trying to learn is the best times to invite you to move. Uh, so for instance, you might like to be standing more later in the day or standing more earlier in the day. Or uh, with the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capability, um, down the road we expect to integrate with devices like Fitbit so that maybe after you go for a run uh, in the morning a couple days a week, maybe you like to be standing more or sitting more, the desk will learn those things. Very cool. And tell me, when, when is this going to be available? When, when can people uh, find this and, uh, and how much are you guys going to sell it for? Great. So um, we will uh, begin selling it uh, this year, uh, before the end of the year, and first full production units shipping in the first quarter of next year. Uh, we've done several rounds of pre-production builds and we're shipping beta units now uh, to our beta testers. Uh, the uh, sale price will be $38.90 for one of our key launch configurations. Gotcha. And will people, people be able to customize the, the desk at all? Are we going to have you know, cool yeah. decals? Uh, you know, flames here. Like right, little, right, or yeah. A nice wood finish. Uh, what, what, absolutely, what there's there is uh, there is uh, some significant customization, so you can actually choose uh, cool. between um, this configuration. Uh, the, the chair is not included. Chair, is chair is not included. Uh, but um, uh, there's a uh, maple grain top. There's uh, actually. Um, the desk is, uh, has multiple colors on the underside, which you can actually see through the cable management ports in the top. Uh, so the cable management ports, uh, there's uh, eight AC and four USB jacks. You can plug in all of your devices. Well, and, and just really quickly, JP, and I know I'm seeing here too that it, it, this is, this looks like we've got an iPhone or an iPod working here, and I know that you were one of the original uh, iPod team members at Apple. So mm -hmm. I'm wondering kind of how, how your experience at Apple and, and since then as an entrepreneur has, has informed you and led you to 
to uh, build this? Yeah, so um, so I was at, at Apple back uh, in uh, the early 2000s on the original iPod team. And, um, you know, just an incredible group of people there that I learned so much from, uh, both, uh, you know, at every level about operations, design, other things. So A lot of great but sedentary people, uh, well, I presume, right? Well, actually, you know, we did a fair amount of standing at our desk there, too. But gotcha. what I'll say is gotcha. that, you know, the, um, you know, all of the design elements of the product uh, we started with keeping things simple, which uh, is certainly something that I absorbed through osmosis in my, in my time at Apple. And, um, and then since then, as an entrepreneur in the solar industry uh, and other things, I learned a lot about building quality products, um, testing things very uh, intensely, which we do a lot of on this product. And, uh, and all those things, I think, have really come together to inform the process that brought the Stir Kinetic Test to us. So, JP, I, I can totally relate to the use case because I spend a lot of my day sitting down, right, at my, hunched, over, hunched over my computer. But I'm, I'm curious what the, uh, you know, whether there's some, some research out there that's kind of prompted you and incentivized you because while well, I think this desk is, is very cool, what are some of the reasons that, that people may be, uh, you know, really pushed to get out there and yeah. bring yeah, yeah. it home? So there's been studies that look at folks with... Uh, sitting only desks and folks with height adjustable desks and uh, a particular study uh, from Miami U University showed a difference in productivity of 50 minutes between those groups every day wow. so almost an hour um, which again um, the data is super interesting and compelling but I think what drives people to use these desks is hey I can really feel it this afternoon mm -hmm. if I move around a little bit more our bodies are made to move and um, you know this the product really is about uh, helping to enable that. Very cool. Well, thank you so much, JP, for showing this to us. It's, it's very cool. Can't wait to see it on the market. Thanks so much.